All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be looking at LRB Pan. Now, LRB Pan is actually going to be very interesting because LRB Pan is the first unit that we're able to use that has the active skill mechanic, where after three turns, uh, B Pan can activate an ability, basically, you know, as soon as the rotation starts, where she'll buff all allies' attack by 33%, and there actually is some uh, voice acting on it. Now, I'm probably I'm probably going to do a second video on B-Pan uh, once I awaken her on my account, right? This is kind of like the, the early access, I don't know, teaser, you know, before the unit actually comes out, uh, because I'm very curious to see how, you know, both of these two units I've looked at recently, uh, Goku Jr. and B-Pan, will perform on the Lineage of Goku team, which I presume, you know, will be LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's leader skill. So that's going to be very interesting to look at. Uh, now, B-Pan, of course, you know, these active skills are going to change things quite a bit, I think. I think active skills, uh, they might really end up being game changers. Now, B-Pan's isn't the craziest, right? Because hers is just only, you know, after three turns for one turn, she gives allies a 33% attack buff, which is nice. Like, like of course, that's, that's a, a very good ability. But, like, you know, we're going to see other units, uh, more impressive units, like, you know, LR, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, for example, who might have some ridiculous active skills that allow them to do some big attack or something. Uh, the active skills do be do appear to be the part uh, of the new Dokkan, like the new wave of Dokkan cards that has voice acting, right? Where the voice acting comes into play... Uh, is, oh boy, B-Pan shares a lot of key with Pandel. Uh, but where the voice acting appears to come into play uh, is on their active skills, right? So this should be a pretty good rotation for B-Pan. Now, one thing you guys might have noticed right away, I, I, I gotta talk about this. This is very interesting for B-Pan. She actually already has her 18 key super. If we look at her, she has 15 key currently. And she has her 18 key super. Well, that's how B Pan works. If you guys remember the TUR for B Pan, uh, she actually was able to super at 9 key once she was SA5 or above. Well, LR B Pan still has that at her, at her LR state, but now she could do her 18 key super with 15 key, which is very, very good. Uh, that does colossal damage and also gives her a medium chance to stun the enemy, and she's able to get that pretty easily. Now, I don't want Goten to finish that Goku off, so we're just going to do that. And this should give us... Is this going to be a full 24 key? No, we're one shy, but it is very close. Uh, Pandel uh, is going to be able to... I, I, you know what? I didn't look. Is Pandel on the Lineage of Goku category? She should be, right? I, actually, oh, now... Okay. I got to double check and see if Videl cards are, well, are, are as well, so... Would Pandel make it on that Lineage of Goku category? Obviously, it's a big deal if she does, because she's going to be able to dramatically, uh, in, you know, power up uh, a lot of different units. Okay, so we're able to get an attack set of 700,000 right there, which you might think is pretty bad, but here's the thing. When B-Pan super attacks, you know, not only does she stun, but she also heals 33% of damage done, done as HP. So she will be just recovering monstrously high amounts of health. Uh, that, that's something that we're going to be seeing, I think, you know, quite often with B-Pan. B-Pan is definitely not the worst LR in Dokkan. Not even close. She's a lot better still, I think, than probably LR Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, she's probably better than LR Hercule. She's definitely better than LR Piccolo. LR Piccolo is the actual worst LR in the game. Uh, and of course, you know, because B-Pan has this ability... Her active skill, that's something that we can't sort of discredit either, right? That little one turn 33% attack buff might seem small, but it's actually, like, it's going to be a nice little attack buff. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the Spirit Bomb stage. Okay, so Goku's at the end there. I probably should... Yeah, okay, so there's the active skill, by the way. Uh, so I probably should... You, I have a Ghost Session, and I should probably use it. Uh, although, maybe I don't need to. So, we can go ahead and activate B-Pan's active skill. Just kind of scroll up right there. Boom. So, now, this is going to give everyone a 33% attack buff. I've got the sound off, but, you know, th this is where B-Pan is voice acted. Uh, when I awaken her on my own account, I'll make sure to show that off. So, boom. There we go. 
Now we all got that big, big, big 33% attack buff. So Goten and B-Pan, they might be able to finish uh, Spirit Bomb Goku off. But let me not go ahead and risk it. Let me go ahead and use uh, my one Ghost Usher here. Uh, but you know, we'll see what kind of damage like V-Pan is going to be dishing out and stuff. Now the other thing, uh, interesting thing too is, don't forget like you know, V-Pan gives herself that 33% attack buff, but you know that is also going to factor into her healing ability, right? How much HP she's going to be healing after that 33% attack buff is put on her. So you know, we're going to get a lot of health back. Uh, V-Pan may actually even be, I th I think, in the running for. Uh, best healing unit in Dokkan. I think she's probably going to be right up there. Uh, you know, low key, like LR, Gogeta, and Vegeta are actually kind of in the discussion as well uh, because they, you know, are able to heal so much uh, just off of their, uh, like, getting the same type orbs, right? Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and finish off Spirit Bomb Goku here. Uh, I guess that is a good thing I did use that Ghost Usher uh, since B Pan did not stun and Goten and B Pan were not strong enough to finish it off. But, like, here's what's going to be interesting, right? Like, you know, if we're able, you know, B-Pan is on that lineage of Goku team. She's able to use her active skill, potentially buffing LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's active skill. And then all of a sudden, he's going to be able to dish out, like, ridiculous damage with his. Because, you know, Team Dokkaner did kind of imply in a tweet that uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, his active skill would be an attack, right? Like, like, like an attack that we can actually go ahead and activate. Uh, let me go ahead and put B-Pan right here uh, in front. Uh, B-Pan, does she have all in the family? She does. So that's an extra 15% attack link. Maybe I'll keep B-Pan uh, just sort of like this right here. We'll keep her with Ultimate Gohan, giving her a little bit extra defense. Uh, also from his passive as well. Uh, no, that's a super attack right there. Perfect. Uh, and we'll see how strong this rotation can be. Now, the other thing too, like active skills, right? So they could be attacks... Uh, I'm sure at some point they might end up being capable of being fusions as well. Like, there's going to be a lot of interesting things. It'll be curious to see uh, if they, like, how they give active skills to old units. Will they, like, you know, w when exactly are, uh, you know, possibly old units going to be getting active skills? A lot of that is going to be very, very interesting to see as time moves on. Obviously, they're going to... Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll be Pandas. All right. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see, as time goes on, how they handle that, right? Because it it could be uh, not great if Dokkan is only going to be giving active skills to, like, you know, the newest, uh, like, Dokkan Fest exclusives, right? But it, it doesn't seem like that's going to be their intention since already, you know, like, really the first unit in the game that we see is able to do it is a free-to-play unit. You know, B-Pan is a free-to-play unit, and she's able to bust out uh, active skills. So hopefully... Uh, that is going to continue to be a pattern that they're going to do, you know, giving active skills to, like, free-to-play units or easily obtained units. Uh, I think there's a very good chance that we could see that happen. Um, it also could be interesting for, like, you know, so let's say they add new Super Battle Road stages sometime soon, right? Uh, you know, we could see, like, a reward card from that or some card be, like, just designed, like, ex like just to take down certain stages based on how their active skills work you know maybe they'll get hp regeneration they could transform you know a card could fuse you know like lr trunks and goten right now they're able to take all the different forms of gotenks like on their super attack right well what if in the future we're gonna get it to where these units are you know like like if lr trunks and goten came out today they would you know fuse with their active skill or something like there is actually a law uh, the only gacha game law that I'm aware of uh, is that you can't sell two things separately that, like, turn into one, right? So, like, what you cannot do is you can't have, you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku on one banner, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on the other banner, and then you need both of them to activate their power, right? Like, you can't do that here. We're going to do this right here. Uh, you can't do that. Um, that is not a super attack for Gohan. So, Gohan, our boy Gohan's just not going to get a super attack. That's fine. Uh, any damage Gohan takes, B-Pan should be able to heal up. We'll see how that works. Uh, and then Pandel's not going to take too many hits at the end there. So that's good. Okay, perfect. So, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, like, you know, what they do with a lot of these active skills. Uh, because, again, you can't, like, have, you know, two cards from each banner. You need them both in order for them to fuse. But they could have, like, both 
like characters in one card, like LR Trunks and Goten, or LR Goku and Vegeta, where then they fuse. Uh, one thing is, uh, like, I-, I wonder if there's going to be, like, a card that's going to have, like, the transformation mechanic and an active skill. Like, now we're starting to get into where, like, you know, like, new Dokkan Fest and stuff could really have a lot of different things, man. Uh, so I- I'm just... Dokkan is really continuing to, like, uh, move at the right pace, right? Like, they're adding a lot of interesting stuff in here, man. That's just going to just continue to make it a lot better. So, I'm very excited. Like, right now, I am very excited about the future of Dokkan. You know, like, now, like, I'm, hey, I'm glad they held back on LR Ultra Instinct Goku, right? Because now, he could have, like, some ridiculous active skill. Here we go. How about this? LR UI Goku, his active skill, uh, after, I don't know, three turns or something, you can activate it so that for like two or three turns or like two rotations, he can't be hit. Like, how ridiculously powerful would that be? Like, see, that almost might be like too strong because, like, thinking about it, for like Super Battle Road stages, uh, you would be able to activate that ability in every single fight. So you guys know how Category Super Battle Road is three fights, and the original ten stages of Super Battle Road uh, were four fights, right? Well, if LRUI Goku would have that ability to, you know, just turn it on, make sure he just instantly dodges everything for two turns or whatever, like, that's something that he would be able to do in every single one of those fights. So, like, you know, Super Battle Road probably is about to take another leap in difficulty uh, because of how much they could do uh, with these active skill mechanics. So that's just one very important thing uh, I do have to bring to everyone's attention. Uh, but, you know, these new units that do have the mechanic are going to eviscerate Super Battle Road. Like LRB Pan, you know, with her, you know, nice buff and stats, uh, being able to heal, being able to stun, being able to reduce damage. Uh, she's going to be. Oh, go, oh, oh! And he's done, okay. <laughs> Uh, B-Pan, she's going to be even better in Hybrid Saiyan Super Battle Road. I will definitely be taking her in there uh, at some point after she releases. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish up here. Here was LR B-Pan, one of the, you know, free units for the anniversary. Very, very exciting. Make sure you grind her up. The first unit to have the active skill mechanic. I'm pumped. Let me know how excited y'all are, and I'll catch you guys next time.